Hey, we're out in unincorporated Menlo Park in San Mateo County, and we're uh, doing a reconstruction project of Croner Avenue. Uh, we've been able to use our SB1 dollars to really expand the breadth of our maintenance program within the county to allow us to pave streets that we normally wouldn't have been able to pave. And that money basically triples the amount of paving that we can do in this county. Until 2018, San Mateo County had been deferring $4 million a year in road work because of insufficient funding. The gas tax that has been generated in California hasn't really changed in terms of the funding level since 1991. We have a backlog of several tens of millions of dollars. I can tell you that the County of San Mateo, in, in order to keep the roadways at its current condition level, we need to be spending about $5 million a year just in the unincorporated county. With traditional gas tax, we only have about a million dollars a year to spend on that. So, you know, if you do the quick math, we are deferring maintenance by $4 million a year in perpetuity. In 2018, SB1 transportation funding made work like this possible. What we're doing on Croner Avenue is a complete reconstruction of this street. In addition, this roadway had no drainage to speak of. We want to make sure that the public understands that these roadway projects are paid with SB1, and SB1 is gas tax. As you know, Silicon Valley is quite expensive to live in, and we have a lot of property owners that say, I pay property taxes, why aren't our roads in better shape? The way that road and transportation funding is, is um, funded is through the gas tax alone. The County Department of Public Works receives no property taxes at all. So although your property taxes are significant, they go to pay for things like the fire department and the sheriff's office and libraries and parks and rec. Transportation doesn't receive any of that funding. So it's absolutely critical that we have a reliable funding stream to maintain these roadways. If voters pass Prop 6 in November, that SB1 funding would be repealed. San Mateo would lose that money. There are no announced plans to replace that funding.